enough, we will be able to take the bass boat out. And let me tell you what, guys, I cannot wait to take the bass boat out. I am literally struggling right now to get out videos for you guys, trying to find content. It's middle of like seasons right now. No, no hunting going on. Fishing is, you know, fishing's there, but I've got my boat in quarantine. So we all know we're just sitting around waiting on that right now. Uh, we tried to go do some coyote hunting yesterday and that was just an absolute fail, guys. I, between closed roads up in Ojai area and uh, gusting winds, it just was not happening. So we bailed out of that pretty quick. Then we tried to go surf fishing. Hold on. Like I was saying, then we tried to go surf fishing and we caught a few fish. Uh, that, I mean, it was going decent and it was really just a test to see if I should go today. Um, I don't know that it was hot enough to go make a full video on, but nonetheless, if we have to, we will, um, if we have to. I mean, I make it sound like it's so terrible having to go fishing. We're pretty much going to head over and uh, we're going to check that creek. If the creek is too flooded still, like it was about two weeks ago, which it probably is, then we're going to go do some surf fishing. Hopefully the creek's not flooded because that's really what I'm feeling today. I really want to go do some creek fishing, so hopefully it's not, but we'll see. All right, guys, I'm going to go check out some motors, and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, so here's what just happened. Here's what just went down. I went over to the uh, local boat dealership slash mechanic shop, and they didn't have any motors, just like everyone else, guys. I'm telling you, I'm having such a hard time finding the, uh, the specs that I need for my boat. However, he decided he would look at my boat, see what's wrong with it, and do the maintenance on it. It's hard to find someone who's willing to do maintenance on such an old motor. Um, he's willing to do it. Uh, you know, just we just we literally just sat and talked for like 45 minutes. Um, and just walked around his shop. He's such a nice guy. So I'm gonna go back and get the boat real quick and take it over to him, and I'm gonna see what he says. He's gonna take a look at it, and I don't know, guys. We might just be fixing the old 88 if that's what we do. That's okay, as long as, you know, if I spend more than I wanted to put on a down payment on a new motor, I'm not gonna be happy, that's obvious. So we've, we've talked about numbers, and he knows where to stop at and tell me, hey, it's better just to go ahead and, and get a new motor at this point. So hopefully it doesn't come to that. Hopefully we can just fix the motor and she'll run for the next 18 months that I'm here in California, and then when I leave, depending on where I'm going, I can decide then. If I need to repower or sell this boat so that's good news guys that's really good news like I said I'm going to go grab the boat make my way back over there sit down talk with him he's gonna take a look at it hopefully by tomorrow we should know uh, what what the deal is gonna be what what's the route we're gonna take so that's exciting guys it's good news heck yeah Right, guys we got the boat in tow she's back there i know you probably can't see her because it's all blown out back there too much sunlight but nonetheless she is back there i promise we got her in tow you know, this is kind of like taking your kid to the doctor this is basically what this is i'm, I'm taking taking my kid to the mechanic I'm taking my boat to the mechanic that's what i'm doing right now hey totally new is what she's gonna be she's gonna look the same inside and out but some new internal parts uh probably a new remote and uh she's gonna be 100% better Maybe not 100% she's gonna be better and I'm excited for that and that's all that matters Now to make this drive all the way back to the mechanic shop that I just came from I probably should have taken the boat the first time to begin with if you Try to get something fixed you normally Take it take it with you. I guess Yeah, whatever All right guys, there she is She's gonna stay there for a while Hopefully very soon. They said they're gonna try and look at it tomorrow. So hopefully tomorrow we'll have some kind of uh, Diagnostics on it. We know what's wrong with it. Know where to go from there. That's uh Best we can hope for guys. Hopefully we can get this thing going and get fishing very soon All right guys, we made it down here Heck yes Doesn't look too bad at all Uh, 
Not much happening right here. Oh, got one right there. Get up here. There we go. Well, there's number one. As I'm saying, there's not much happening. He comes up and just annihilates it. He's a fat little guy too. Look at the stomach on that thing. Oh yeah. Come down here and drop him back in the water. This is a nice, healthy little creek bass, guys. <clears throat> if there's one, there's many. I don't know how many, but there's many. Oh gosh. I just uh, cannot wait for the boat to be out of quarantine, fixed from the mechanics, get out to Lake Acetas and do some bass fishing. Cause then even if the fishing is terrible, we're on a boat. So it's still a good day. I'm out of breath, hiking up and down creek banks, slipping through the mud. That kind of stuff is fun, but it's exhausting. And it makes you think it ain't worth it whenever you're not catching them. But you got to remind yourself, I guess, if you every now and again, a few times, you know, throughout life, you're going to have to remind yourself. It's called hunting and fishing, not killing and catching. As long as you're outdoors, it's better than being indoors. Breathing is better than not breathing, guys. All right, look, it's good to be alive. All right. That's all I got to say. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Not much happened. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.